Sealyham Terrier. Bred and developed between 1850 and 1891 by Captain John Edwards at Sealyham House in the Welsh county of Pembrokeshire, Sealyham Terriers were used primarily for hunting small rodents and rats. Even if there are no exact records, experts say that the cardigan Welsh corgi, the hard-haired fox terrier, and the now extinct English white terrier gave rise to this particular breed. After being officially recognized by the Kennel Club in 1911, the Celium Terrier has been considered a vulnerable breed in danger of extinction. For this reason, Doff breeders try all means to rekindle the interest of the public for the breed and avoid its later disappearance. Time for some rough trivia. In which important Alfred Hitchcock movie is a Celium Terrier dog appear? A. Rare Window B. Psycho C. The Birds What do you think? Give it your best guess in the comments below before we get to the answer. Hang on tight and we'll get back to this rough trivia question toward the end of the video. Elegant and distinguished, the Celium Terrier is a dog with a long body that can measure 10.5 inches at the shoulder and can weigh between 23 to 24 pounds. It has strong, powerful and muscular extremities. Its coat has a long, sinewy and hard upper layer with a much softer and denser undercoat. The most frequent colours are entirely white, with some lemon, so or badger markings on the ears and head. Grooming. Their fur is hard and may need to be brushed at least three times a week to get rid of dead hair and avoid tangles, ticks and fleas. The nails should be checked regularly and the eyes and ears need to be cleaned frequently as well. Temperament. Although he enjoys the company of his human family, he also likes his moments of loneliness. Vivacious, stubborn, noisy, intrepid, friendly, loving and loyal, Celium Terrier dogs have an enthusiastic, playful and independent personality that turns them into dedicated pets to their owners and great companions for life. Training Unlike other breeds, the Celium Terrier is difficult to train and is usually slower to learn new commands. Even if he really wants to please his owner, it takes a lot of patience, dedication, leadership and consistency to train him through a positive reinforcement training and get the best results. You can now visit brooklynscorner.com to find some basic obedience training tips. Health Resistant and with few health problems, the Celium Terrier, just like other breeds, can suffer from some diseases such as atopic dermatitis, congenital deafness, dystochia, glaucoma, punctured lacrimal aplasia, dislocation of the lens and retinal detachment. Despite his hunting skills, some people often said that the Celium Terrier has the sweetest nature of any of the Terrier breeds and is a wonderful companion able to adapt to different situations. He is an independent, loyal and loving dog that enjoys not only the company of his family, but also of other pets. Find out if the Celium Terrier would be a good addition to your home. Now you can visit brooklynscorner.com to take our quiz and find out which dog would be the best match for you. Let's get back to the answer to our rough trivia question. Alfred Hitchcock's two Celiums actually have a short cameo in The Birds. In one of the opening scenes of the film, the two terriers exit a pet shop with their owner. That does it for the Celium Terrier. If you enjoyed this Dog Facts 101 video, be sure to subscribe and pull that thumbs up button. Then go ahead and check out some of our other videos or fan activities on our website. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.